um, kind of, you know, it's hard to talk about. Um, you just don't ever hope to hear anything like that. It's pretty gruesome. Um, just don't understand. Was it worse than you thought it would be? Not that it would be good in any way, but... Um, not, I'll be honest, not as bad as I thought it could have been. So that was, that was good to me. That I, it was not as bad as we thought it could have been. Um, so we were actually able to, you know, lay her to rest. And I, you know, didn't think that would ever be possible, you know, after so long. So, um, I think there's a little bit of closure in that. Um, what kind of a job do you think uh, Richmond Police and KSP did in this case? An excellent job. You know, um, they kept a lot of stuff from the public just to protect the case and protect the family. Um, and personally, as Savannah's best friend, they, you know, kept me in the loop of things. Um, and that made things easier, just knowing that they were continuing to work. Um, and then, you know, I received a phone call that they may have had, you know, hung on to something that Savannah may have been somewhere. Um, and so they've worked, they're, they've worked really hard um, for us. And, you know, you don't see this every day. So I know it was hard for them as much as it was hard for us. And I give all the thanks to them. David Sparks' own father is the one who called um, his attorney after Correct. noticing that odor. Correct. That must have been so hard as a parent. He, what, do you, what do you think about um, that? Just like I've said it in interviews before, um, of course it's hard to turn in your own child, but at the same time, I could imagine what his dad would have felt if it was his, he had sisters. I could imagine what he would have felt like if, you know, he realized that his daughter was laying in someone's backyard for so long as well. So I think, you know, um, not only was it a courtesy thing, but, you know, maybe he didn't want to get in trouble as well. So um, I think all this time he believed his son. I think that everyone did. Um, assuming, you know, from the background where they come from, I think they all felt like he wasn't lying to them. Um, but if I'm correct, I think some of the family is still here in court today. So that, that still makes it hard that people would support him after what he's done, even if it's his family.